Hello everyone, wherever you are, welcome to Cricket Chat YouTube channel, a channel dedicated to just discuss matters to do with uh, Kenyan cricket. And today we are lucky, we are in, uh, going to discuss about NPCA Super League that is entering week 6 uh, this Sunday at various grounds within Nairobi. And uh, today we are lucky that uh, we are going to discuss uh, about NPCA all the way from uh, the shows of uh, Indian Ocean in Dar Salaam. And joining me in our discussion, we've got a former national team uh, player and currently a uh, match referee with NPCA, Alfred uh, Boinjuguna, and also former national team uh, player and currently also umpiring NPCA matches, Peter, uh, Peter Ngondo. Gentlemen, welcome to Cricket Chat. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much, Dan. Thank you for having us. I will just go straight to the uh, point, it's just to briefly discuss our expectation of this week's week six matches. We've got uh, Kanbis traveling to Ruaraka to play uh, to play Ruaraka. We've got uh, Kachileva hosting o Obuya Academy. We've got uh, Jim Kana just crossing, going across the road to play Simba Union, Simba Union or Sikh Union as it's known currently. And then we've got uh, both teams who are currently playing at Jaffa, so Mbappa and uh, Stralions playing. So we will start with a match between uh, Kachileva and Obuya. Alfred, what do you think about the match? Um, this season is getting interesting. Uh, I've watched Obuya and uh, I mean, it has to be said, Obuya to me seems like a two-man team. Uh, the moment you have uh, Collins not scoring, and uh, you remove Kennedy Ali, then you're assured that's a game over before lunch. Um, it's unfortunate, but that is that is how it is. Yes, done. Uh, Peter, you've umpired the matches uh, between Obuya and also Kachileva. Uh, what do you think? Uh, which team stands a chance to win uh, to register their second win of the season? I think uh, I'll, I'll put my money on Kachileva since they have got an all-round team. Uh, most of the youngsters guided by experience of uh, Lame Konyango, who I'm surprised is still playing and still bowling very well. They have Lucas now in their, in their team. And the, the strong batting lineup that they have, all the youngsters uh, back themselves. So they always play positive cricket. But having said that, uh, Obuya depends and rely on their experience. And uh, we can always not ignore experience. So if uh, they don't, uh, as uh, Alfia said, if they don't get Collins out early, then it does the damage. But always with the 50 over game, it's a long chase. So I think having, having only two players is a disadvantage for Buya. And uh, they have started the league on a bit on a low side. Uh, Elija is not uh, clicking with the ball, mm -hmm. so they are missing that. So if, if, if they don't have the, the right bowlers to, to push uh, uh, Kachileva to the rope, I think Kachileva will, will win this one. Uh, but something that came up last week uh, uh, was that uh, Kachileva, it's difficult for you to know which players are going to play. Today they've got this 11, come next Sunday they've got a different uh, side. Uh, Alfie, do you think uh, that's also contributing to them not uh, winning since beating Australia in their first match. Yeah, that, that combination of, uh, you know, like usually you can have maybe changes one or two players uh, in a game depending on, uh, you know, the, 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 the form that one player is in. But having to change players week in, week out also, I think is a, a disadvantage to the team. Uh, you never kind of get the right combination. And as the uh, league progresses. Uh, by the time we are almost halfway, you've lost so many matches, and yet you still keep on changing the teams. Yeah, yeah. You know, like uh, I, I'm not for that. I'm not for that. Uh, uh, second match of the season, uh, Peter. Second match of the season. Uh, Josie Angara managed to say to lead uh, Nairobi Jimkana for the first uh, win of the season. They are crossing the road to go to Simba Union, also playing a team that has not won, uh, has only won one match. Uh, what should we expect, uh, Aga, uh, Jim Kana versus uh, Simba Union? Yeah, I think it has to be said also that uh, Jim, uh, Simba Union was missing the service of David Ticolo in the first few games. 
because if you look at the season last season the guidance that we gave uh, Simba Union was unique such that the, the players uh, were playing under instructions I think the first two games uh, he was missing on the bench and you cannot take away the experience because they have got young players uh, who need his guidance so with David Tukolo back I think I'll back Simba uh, Jim Kana is relatively a new side uh, they're still gelling they're, they'll miss the service of uh, Stian and uh, Yash who are uh, now here with the under 19 and uh, also Asan is also here with the under 19 so it's a team that is trying to gel uh, we've got guys uh, coming up uh, we, have, we have seen Juju now picking up from where he left he's a very good cricketer he's one of the guys who uh, missed out on playing for Kenya but I, I still feel they'll, they'll fall short and uh, I've got my money on, on Simba uh, uh, for Jim Kana to win, what should they do to, to beat Simba? Um, assuming that uh, three of the best upcoming players are in uh, Dar es Salaam at the moment, representing Kenya in the under 19s, I'd still, as Peter says, I'd still put my money on Simba. Uh, it's, a, it, 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 it's a long call for, for Jim Kana. Again, taking into consideration that apart from these players, they also missed, you know, like uh, so many of their players moved away to jo go join other, yeah, other, other clubs. Um, it's, a, it's a tall order for them. It will be a tall order. Uh, talking about a match at Jeffries, uh, Stanbis, uh, sorry, uh, Swami Baba were in trouble. They were about uh, 50 for 5 uh, against Stanbis. Uh, but eventually they managed to score 203 and ended up winning that match with uh, nine runs. They are playing a team that uh, you won't say how strong they are because today you think they are going to win, they are going, uh, then they end up losing. You think they are going to lose, then they end up uh, carrying the day. Stray Lions. Uh, what should we expect in that um, uh, match? Considering that uh, Swami Bapa won a match that uh, actually how the match was running, they had no chance of winning. Um. Stray Lions are very unpredictable. Uh, they'll be all out for less than 150 this weekend, 250 plus in the next week. Uh, the weather in Nairobi at the moment is more in favor of the bowlers. And I think whoever picks up the early wickets in tomorrow's match, um, I've been a Swami Bapa boy right from the beginning. I'll, I'll, I'm putting my money, I'm putting my money for Swami Bapa. Peter, which team do you think has the bowler, have has those bowlers that uh, will sparkle uh, with the Nairobi conditions? I think I think you, see, you, you, you can see Swami Bapa now have guys uh, like like last week we saw James Goche performing, uh, scoring 40, and also again performing with the with the, with the ball. And ball yeah. So and and you see if you if you see that at the start of uh, the season. Uh, James was not in some people's plan. They have a, they have a strong team now. Uh, Maurice Ouma uh, got 70 odd in their knockout, and he was not part of the A team. Those are guys who are in the. So it means there is a big depth in uh, some at the moment. They brought the right pros. Coach is on fire. So I feel uh, Shem and uh, Iran uh, have to try and uh, pick up uh, and push because they've got they've got. Uh, guys who have experience but they've not been clicking they don't click together uh, you find that some someone they when when Iran is bowling well Shem is not getting it and the other way around so the two are the most experienced bowler that uh, Stray has got uh, because the rest uh, uh, Kinnard, uh, uh, this young boy uh, they're struggling to, to yeah, the yeah they're traveling they're struggling to get to the line but you see, if they get the guidance of uh, say the Ren and Shem, then they'll, 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 they'll wake up with something. But they're not consistent. As Taylor's batting has, uh, has done well, they've got two centuries uh, so far. The other day, uh, their opener managed mm -hmm. to score 100. Gabi, yes, yeah. uh, no, there was uh, the professional, Vaibab. Yes, yes, uh, 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 Shubam, sorry. Shubam. He managed to score 100. Then uh, two weeks ago, Munel Mugabe scored 100. Yes. They are batting compared to some Bapa's batting, they, they have a strong batting side. Yeah, but as, as I said, they're not consistent. If, mm -hmm. if uh, like Nelly Mugabe scored 100, 
the next three games. When was scored. the last time you yes. had him score? 100. So, so they don't, they don't play to, they, they don't click on the same day. They've got a good lineup, but they don't click on the same day. And when remember, somebody cricket, clicks, the rest. cricket is about partnership. Yeah. You might not get 100, but probably put up something like uh, 150 runs partnership. The two of you, and then probably another wicket puts on another partnership. Then you're talking about 200, 240 plus. And that is what we can win matches. Just a single a single century from one end will not give you uh, results to say. So last Sunday, uh, Dylan Gondaria wasn't able to sparkle. And uh, they ended up losing that match. Do you think it's going to be under a lot of pressure to perform when they're playing a strong team as a Waraka player at the moment? Uh, Gun, as I, as, as I mentioned, cricket is about consistency. Runs are about when they are needed. When you score 450 plus, when, it's not, when, when, not, when they you not don't, needed. they're not needed. Yeah. You need to, 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 to score and make your team win and win when it matters. Um, I'm not trying to say scoring those runs against the low teams is not important, but it is scoring when you're playing teams like Swami Bapa, playing clubs like Waraka. When, 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 when your team needs you and you come out strong. Um, but that is not to say that those centuries that have been scored are not important, yes. Uh, Canbys are coming from, you know, a defeat. And I know they are hungry. They are hungry. To me, I think they have the best team on paper in terms of names. But now those names have to put scores against them. Uh, Strong match, uh, toughest match was against Swami Bapa, which they won comfortably. Uh, but today they are going into on Sunday they will be facing the wounded candies. Uh, what should they do that uh, they can absorb the pressure and again just register the, an easy win for them uh, on Sunday? You see, with, with Raraka, it depends how Push Pushkar and uh, Sachin works up. Sachin is a very good all rounder and also he, he opens up the bowling up front, so they have to take care of that. But you see, even uh, Canbis, I, I watched them the other day. Uh, even if uh, the ran, in fact, the guy who did uh, most of the damage was uh, Rakeb. He scored 94 with like 45 balls odd. So their betting lineup is, is, is long, it's deep. They've got Nare, they've got Mandela, they've got Sachin, they've got uh, Rakeb at the, at, the, at the back. So also, if, if uh, uh, the, the issue under. Uh, the captain brought it up, uh, is the, the, the youngsters. He asked the youngsters to step up, the lower order also to step up. So if they are youngsters who are also capable, if they step up and don't leave it to the likes of the Ren, then cannabis is a threat, it's a very strong all-round team. But I'm, I'm still backing cannabis to win on Sunday. Uh, Alfie, uh, you are take Swami Bapa, uh, Swami Bapa Kachileva Obuya Kachileva Simba Jimkana Simba Ruaraka Kanbis uh, This time round I'm for Ruaraka Peter Ruaraka Kanbis I'm going for Kanbis Streleona Swami Bapa Swami Bapa Kachileva Obuya Kachileva Nairobi Jimkana uh, Sick Union Sick Union will win that yeah, and that was our preview of this uh, week's match. Uh, it was with uh, Alfred Boy Njuguna, Thank you very former much. Swami Bapa bowler. In fact, they were bo all Swami Bapa's bowlers, Alfred and Man Pete on the other side. And uh, we just hope that uh, we'll witness some good cricket come Sunday. So until next time, thank you very much and all the best. Thank, thank you. you Dan. And thank good you luck for the teams on Sunday. Oh, yes. Yes.